a professor toll here yeah. studies smoking cessation for yeah. the purposes of developing novel drug and counseling treatments yeah. and currently you're analyzing data um, from the, the New York smokers um, focusing on how to frame positive anti-smoking messages for maximum effectiveness well we're doing two things so we've published a study on uh, message framing to encourage quitting smoking through the New York State Smokers Quit Line. And what that, uh, what that study showed was if you give game frame messages, um, meaning a, a game frame message is if you quit smoking, you'll save money, you'll, you'll live longer, you'll smell better, you'll cut down risk for cancer. If, if you give those messages compared to standard care messages in the sh in the short term, there is a benefit for quitting smoking for smokers uh, exposed to the game frame messages. Um, and so that was kind of part of um, a study that we published recently. Right now we're doing another NCI funded study with the New York State Smokers Quit Line in which we are looking at uh, risky drinkers and what we're doing now is a study where we're comparing a brief alcohol counseling intervention to a standard quit smoking intervention and so our goal our, our, our hypothesis in this new study is that we feel that the, the brief counseling intervention may Im improve quit rates for smokers that call the quit line who are risky drinkers. And what have you found to be the differences between that and say like negative? Because you know the negative is also like a common like yeah, attack pattern, sure. like you know, like the cancer or like the like deceased lungs and stuff like that. So what do you think is um, the difference and you know necessarily why would it be better or what Right. Well our work uh, is based in prospect theory. Uh, which is a Nobel winning uh, uh, theory uh, by uh, Danny Kahneman and, and, and uh, Tversky. They won the Nobel Prize, um, the Swiss Bank Prize in 2002. Um, and the theory has been applied to health behaviors. And what the theory states is that in the domain of, of gains, people stay away from risk, and in, in the area of losses, they seek risk. So what we found are a gain frame message like, if you quit smoking, you will uh, save money. It's preferable to a loss frame message like, if you continue smoking, you will um, you'll lose money. And so we found, consistent with prospect theory, that if you provide game frame messages, that uh, gives you short-term benefits in quitting smoking, as compared to either loss frame messages or standard care messages. What prompted you to go into like, that field, I guess? Any particular well, interest? I mean, you know, uh, the truth is that um, you kind of fall into these things. <laughs> so I, I, I did an internship in um, my junior year of college at Cornell. Um, I went to Australia and did like a, a work internship, which mostly meant photocopying, right, right, right. Um, where I worked at a few drug and alcohol clinics and one of the people there kept talking about these researchers that do this uh, drinking moderation program um, and so I wanted to go to graduate school um, and I looked these people up they were in Florida I, I went and interviewed with them and, and they liked me and I liked them and so I started working with them at that time they were doing a little bit of smoking cessation of a, a lot more alcohol mm -hmm. um, but the school where we were 
it was just very challenging to do alcohol research. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of guided me to, to do smoking research. Um, and that was, you know, yeah. more than 15 years ago oh, wow. that I started in smoking cessation. And then basically, um, I got to Yale in 2001 and did a pre-doctoral fellowship and then a postdoctoral fellowship um, and then faculty. And uh, like since my time here, um, I've done mostly smoking cessation, but as I've just told you from my last, um, our, our current project mm -hmm. is, is dealing with alcohol too. So right. I've, I've kind of done both, but more smoking, uh, um, like more uh, quit smoking research. Right, right. That's kind of how life happens. Right, right, right. You kind of get these opportunities and if, if you're interested, then you pursue them. Right. So how do you conduct psychiatric research or psychological research? Well, I, I guess it's, um, well, you have human subjects. Mm -hmm. So basically, you, you follow a protocol that's mm -hmm. approved by the IRB, um, where you have a set of procedures that you have to carefully lay out um, for how you're planning to kind of interact with your human subjects. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you stick to your procedures. And if there's any um, problems that you report those. I, I don't like to compare it to basic science because it's very, mm -hmm. it's very different. Um, and I, I think both have got quite a bit of value. Right. Um, but it can be a very rich uh, experience where you're, like, where you're helping people who are currently experiencing psych or drug abuse problems um, to help them uh, uh, get better. Right. So we're always very pleased in our quit smoking studies, mm -hmm. like when people quit smoking. Mm -hmm. um, it's generally a problem uh, that they've grappled with for many years. Um, our mean age for clinical trials is about 45. Okay. So it's people that have been smoking for probably 25 or so years. So to, to help them quit smoking is very rewarding. I can tell you it's a very complex disorder, mm -hmm. meaning that it's not only biological, okay, but fair enough. it's behavioral. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind, if you smoke, if you smoke a pack per day, mm -hmm. and you're taking a bunch of drags per cigarette, over 20 years, it's going to be literally millions of trials. Okay. Right? So, that so there's yes, like there's a strong a strong drug component. Right. So a strong drug addiction, mm -hmm. but there's also a very strong habit that smokers form. Okay. And that habit is very challenging to break. How do you report the findings? Or how do you collect the data? There's two ways that we do it. One is a more paper-based way, like where we have a big binder per patient, mm -hmm. um, where we meet with them in a clinical trial. Uh, let's say we have 10 meetings. Mm -hmm. Per meeting, we're taking down notes right. in, in that binder. Okay, mm -hmm. um, And in our quitline studies, uh, they've got a web-based form per caller. And so per, per contact or per call, uh, our clinicians are taking down notes okay, based perfect. on structured interviews. Um, and then from there, we have uh, follow-ups where we ask them about their smoking status. For quitline studies, smoking status is assessed by phone. Mm -hmm. For our clinical trials, here at the School of Medicine, um, we do a self-report of smoking status and generally a, a breath and blood test. Okay, so, uh, and the blood and breath, breath test would uh, like verify? It's biochemical verification. Uh, moving on, I guess, to like, yep. you know, personal like, interests. Sure. Uh, besides like your research, what sure. other things do you know, engage in? Or... 
I mean, my main hobby, I've, I've got a, I have two children, mm -hmm. uh, two sons, two, two and five, who are my hobby. <laughs> right, right, no, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I love to spend time with them and my wife. Um, and uh, we do many, many things. Mm -hmm. um, my, uh, my sons are in, um, my five-year-old takes karate, my uh, two-year-old takes soccer classes, um, and they're both, well, my, my five-year-old's in kindergarten and my two-year-old's in preschool. Mm -hmm. um, and so my main, well, I'm not at work, my main thing is just spending family time. And I guess, is there any other like post research or post professional plans that you have? You know, is there anything that like um, you have planned like after maybe the uh, smoking research? Our big, assume? our big uh, exciting um, project that mm -hmm. we are engaging in now is starting a smoking cessation program at Smiley Cancer Hospital. Okay. And so that's starting now mm -hmm. um, and, and we've hired one nurse practitioner and, mm -hmm. and, and we're currently in the process right. of, 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 of yeah. hiring mm -hmm. another uh, nurse practitioner and a secretary and the goal of that program is going to be it's starting in three cancer programs it's starting mm -hmm. in the thoracic program the head and neck program and the breast program so the goal in those three programs that we're starting in is to assess their smoking mm -hmm. and if people smoke we will meet with them mm -hmm. and discuss their treatment options and then treat them right for, for patients that want to be treated right Much, i yep. appreciate it sure but yeah sure thank you again